Common bile duct stones, or CBD stones, are gallstones that are located within the common bile duct of the biliary tree. When CBD stones become lodged, they can cause severe clinical complications, including acute cholangitis and acute pancreatitis, both of which have the potential to make patients critically unwell. Therefore, it's really important that once we diagnose the presence of a CBD stone, we know how to manage them appropriately and rapidly in an attempt to try to control the problem and prevent the patient from deteriorating clinically. Once we've identified the presence of the CBD stone, we should then be organising an urgent ERCP to remove the stone, decompress the obstructed biliary tract, and importantly, relieve the source of infection that's driving the sepsis. In those patients who have a successful ERCP and removal of the stone, but who still have a gallbladder, then they'll need to undergo a laparoscopic cholecystectomy once they've improved clinically to remove the gallbladder and thus reduce the risk of any further stone development. In patients in whom ERCP is unsuccessful in removing the CBD stone, a plastic stent may be deployed as a temporizing measure to allow the infected bile to bypass the blockage. A second ERCP may subsequently be repeated in a few weeks' time to extract the stones. However, if this fails again, then the patient should be referred to a specialist centre with significant ERCP expertise for a definitive removal of the stone. Alternatively, if the ERCP introduced stent fails to decompress the biliary system, these patients can undergo a percutaneous transhepatic cholangiogram, or PTC. This aids in the drainage of the infected bile that's proximal to the blockage. PTC involves inserting a drain through the abdominal wall and via the liver into the bile duct, all under radiological guidance and with the use of a guide wire. In some cases, during the PTC, a stent may be inserted into the bile duct, and this allows the bile to drain beyond the obstruction. However, in other cases, bile may be drained externally via a percutaneous tube and collected in a drainage bag that sits outside the patient's body. In the very elderly and frail patient, PTC may be a permanent solution and enable them to recover from this acute severe illness. However, in most patients, PTC and biliary drainage is used as a temporizing treatment to relieve the blocked biliary system and importantly, allow control of the source of sepsis, enabling the patient to improve clinically before undergoing definitive treatment at a later date. This definitive treatment may involve another ERCP or an elective laparoscopic cholecystectomy with a bile duct exploration and potential removal of the stone. If you enjoyed watching this video, then make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great free content. Or if you want to make sure you know what you need to know for med school, then subscribe to surgicalteaching.com for more great videos, learning forums, and MCQs.